I believe that the target for me, this is a measured move. So if you go from here to here, the mark, the target for me is roughly uh, 27.25 now. So I think we have about 75 or 80 dollars of upside between now and the bricks. We have 75 or 80 dollars upside means I think we could go up 75 or 80 dollars between now and the BRICS event. Now that's 12 days away. That's an aggressive thing to say. Here's the qualifications. If we get above 2670 in spot, I don't think this whole this uh, high will hold 2685. I don't think it will. So I think we're going to have another rally. Gold remained within a narrow range on Tuesday, constrained by the strength of the US dollar. Market volatility was fueled by geopolitical tensions and uncertainties surrounding the upcoming US elections. Investors are eagerly awaiting signals on the Federal Reserve's monetary policy, which could provide further direction for the precious metal. Vince Lancey, a seasoned trader and market strategist with over 30 years of experience in commodities, particularly gold and silver, believes the market is at a critical point. According to Lancey, if gold holds key support levels around $2,605, it could rally toward $2,725 especially as anticipation builds for the upcoming BRIC summit. Currently, the gold market is consolidating recent gains, with buyers stepping in whenever prices dip. Given this strong underlying demand, it wouldn't be surprising to see gold test the $3,300 level in the future. However, short-term factors are contributing to volatility, and the approaching BRIC summit is expected to play a significant role in shaping market sentiment. The 2024 BRIC summit, scheduled for October 22nd to 24th in Kazan, Russia, has already generated considerable speculation about the introduction of a BRICS digital currency and payments network. While details remain limited, Russian Deputy Chairman of the State Duma, Alexander Babakov, hinted in September that BRICS nations might explore blockchain technology and digital currencies for cross-border settlements. Babakov emphasized that a BRICS payment system would be key to achieving economic sovereignty and independence, suggesting that blockchain's role could extend beyond mere speculation. Lancey believes that any announcements at the BRICS summit could trigger a short-term rally in commodities like gold. However, he warns that such rallies might be short-lived, as has been the case in the past. Gold and silver often surge following major geopolitical events, but tend to lose momentum during European or US trading sessions. As the BRICS summit approaches, market participants are closely watching for potential developments that could lead to significant moves in precious metals, depending on key announcements. In this video, Vince Lancey explains the fishhook phenomenon in the market. He describes it as a pattern where, during a market sell-off, open interest rises because long funds drive prices lower by selling, and bullion banks step in to catch the falling knives at prices they find favorable. However, recently, this hasn't been done very discreetly. The bullion banks need to buy back what they've sold, which creates the fishhook formation. What's key is when the market drops, but open interest doesn't increase, meaning long funds aren't selling. Instead, new shorts, like CTA types or macro discretionary traders, are entering the market. These shorts become bearish after the market drops by around $40, selling into the hands of someone ready to buy. Often, this buyer isn't a bullion bank but another macro discretionary fund preparing for an event like BRICS. On days like this, when the market seems to be reversing, it's a sign that the trend may be turning. Lancey predicts that based on current patterns, his target is about $2,725, meaning there's potentially $75 to $80 of upside before the BRICS event, which is just 12 days away. He acknowledges this is an aggressive prediction but notes that if the price exceeds $2,670 in spot gold, he believes it will push higher and surpass $2,685. As for the BRICS event itself, Lancey mentions two possibilities. It could either lead to a market rally due to a bullish announcement for commodities, or it could disappoint, causing little market reaction. He explains that even if gold spikes $70 during BRICS hours, by the time US markets open, the price could remain unchanged, something that's happened before. In summary, Lancey believes that if gold doesn't fall below $2,605 in the next three weeks, it has a strong chance of reaching $2,725. What happens after that remains uncertain, but he suggests there could be external forces ready to cap the price increase if necessary. In a recent update, seasoned trader Vince Lancey discussed silver's performance after prices declined slightly on Tuesday, 
according to FX Street. The metal traded at $31.15 per troy ounce, down 0.2% from Monday's price of $31.20. Despite this minor drop, silver has surged 3.85% since the beginning of 2024, signaling strong demand and positive momentum. Lancy noted that silver has historically been slower to react compared to other precious metals. However, once enough short positions accumulate and the market becomes oversold, silver typically leads sharp rallies. He expects this trend to play out again before the end of the year, with silver primed for a significant rally as it rebounds from its current oversold conditions. Presently, the silver market is volatile, with traders searching for a catalyst to push prices higher. The key level to watch is $32.50, a critical resistance point. A breakout above this level could trigger further upward momentum, reinforcing silver's strong performance this year. As silver continues to trade within a noisy and fluctuating environment, market participants are closely monitoring signals of a sustained upward trend. With Lancy forecasting a potential rally, the market could experience a sharp move higher, especially if broader economic or geopolitical factors reignite interest in precious metals. In this Vince Lancy video, he discusses the recent drop in silver prices, which fell to $30.70 in the spot market. He attributes this to China's recent economic stimulus, which, although substantial, was largely expected. However, the follow-up press conference disappointed many as it lacked the we'll-do-whatever-it-takes attitude that was seen in previous announcements. This sentiment spread across markets, leading to speculative sell-offs in China, particularly in the Chinese stock market. Speculative traders in Asia, especially in Shanghai, and bank traders who often front-run their own government, reacted by selling heavily, causing significant declines in silver, copper, and gold. Lancy explains that industrial metals like copper took the hardest hit, while precious metals like gold experienced a smaller drop before rallying. Gold didn't stay down because central banks continue to buy it as a safe haven asset, while silver, though precious, is still working its way lower. Copper, being fully industrial, remains suppressed as there's little demand. Silver, being a hybrid of industrial and precious, fluctuates between the two. He goes on to suggest that if you're betting on the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, you would likely buy gold and sell copper. Alternatively, you might buy gold and sell silver. The relationship between silver and copper is strong. Copper tends to lead silver on the way down, while gold leads silver on the way up. Eventually, when enough short positions build up in silver, it could reverse sharply to the upside, which Lancy believes will happen sometime between now and the end of the year. As the market closely watches the upcoming BRICS summit and ongoing geopolitical tensions, both gold and silver are facing volatility. Gold, in particular, could experience significant movement based on the summit's outcome. Silver, while typically slower to react, is also poised for a potential rally. Investors are paying close attention to how these precious metals will perform in the near term as these key events unfold. What do you think the BRICS summit's impact will be on the future of gold and silver? Share your thoughts in the comments. If this video resonates with you, be sure to join our community by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Thank you for being part of our journey.